The Whaka Papa to get to Rotan is a really interesting one. It comes down in one line anyway, sure. Homeo Tiki Tiki, Rahu Rahu, Aruhe, Monehu, Ngarara, and Rotan is the penultimate stage of that Whaka Papa line down through Homeo Tiki Tiki. Now, from this, we can also talk about the Hua Hua Tau or the different applications of this idea. We see the origin of fertility that's expressed as a tohu through rotane. Homeo tikitike being the atua of uncultivated growth or anything that grows wild and in abundance is expressed through the rotane when it comes into contact with human form, especially with wahine as a tohu for saying that they actually hapu. Another tohu that we see in the wild ku rotane is that if the rotane drops from one of the raka and lands on you, it's a tohu for you moving into a place in the forest that maybe you shouldn't be. What we're doing here is reintroducing the idea that the study of rotane and the connection back to the wild ku rotane or to the forest environment might be the key to our improving our health. Much as Confucius did 2000 years ago to look at the study of the environment, the study of insects, to save his people through developing the martial art of Kung Fu, Māori were doing the same. The starting point for the practice of rotane for beginners can start out in the flat lying down on the ground form where there's not too much load on the body. And what we do from this position is we lift one hand and one leg on alternate sides of the body. And he could start to sway those back and forward sideways so we get lateral movement in there as well. Now the next level up from this is that we get him up onto his knees and his elbows. And we lift a, a hand and a leg again. And same kind of sideways movement as though the wind's pushing him around. The first version we have of Hariata is where she's in the flat, stick-like form of rotane. This is rotane at rest. Tafiri mate impacts on rotane and she starts to sway. Whichever side the wind is coming in from stronger, she's going to lean more towards the opposite side because she's been pushed by tafiri mate. And it would look more natural to see her moving as far as tafiri mate's influence is concerned. And hence her whakapapa is perpetuated. The next level up. She starts to lift her hand and it's still swaying through her body and her hand to look like the stick being moved by the wind. The next level up from this is where it's one hand and one leg are up. Now she's starting to move forward, which the raw tane does when it's moving down a tree. We're going to do a left arm and a left leg or a right arm and a right leg at the same time. Now this is getting quite tricky now. This requires a lot of core strength. And we add in the sideways movement for the ultimate finish. 